Mental Health Monday on KCAL 9 is sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. The holidays are stressful enough on their own. Add in the pandemic and many of us are finding ourselves struggling. In this week's Mental Health Monday report, Serene Branson shows us that help is often just a phone call away. It makes you believe in yourself when you're told that you can do it. As Eliza M. browses through the new clothes, holiday gifts, and food donated for families just like hers, she reflects with gratitude on how far she's come. Breathing is a part of succeeding, and I'm still breathing. In 2018, Eliza lost her home. That led to me being on the streets. Um, I was homeless with two dogs, and nobody wants to take a homeless person in, let alone somebody with two dogs, and that's when I found out I was pregnant. If she stayed on the streets, both she and her pregnancy were in danger. Asking for help was a tough climb. A lot of the struggle was admitting that I needed help. Eliza's first call, 211. Just as 911 connects callers to first responders, 211 hooks callers up with essential community services. Eliza was directed to Families Forward in Irvine. We really try hard to remove all barriers. Madeline, her niece, is executive director. There's a lot of, of trauma and uh, that comes with experiencing homelessness. Eliza moved into a maternity shelter. After her daughter was born, she enrolled in Families Forward's Housing First program. The Housing First approach doesn't end with housing. There's career and food support, mental health support. For Eliza, that meant being able to talk to somebody and being told that I'm not a complete failure. But she did have work to do. What had to change in me was my train of thought. She learned no matter who caused past challenges, only she had the power to change her future. With the most difficult first step, asking for help behind her. I just took the hand and led with whatever guidance they had. And soon enough, I'm uh, applying for jobs. These days? I have my own home. My daughter has her own room. But with little money to spare, extravagant holiday gifts are out of the question. The key to finding joy anyway? Start something new instead of new toys. She's very excited for the lights, for the food, for, you know, for the advent calendar. She gets a chocolate a day now. But what excites Eliza most this year? I have plans for her to be giving people gifts, to see a smile on somebody's face and to know that um, you relieved a little bit of struggle. Whatever emotional struggles lie ahead, Eliza is now confident knowing that I can ask for help and that if mentally I don't think I'm, I, I'm capable of something, I have somebody saying, you got this. Oh, what a sweet story. Yeah. For more information on mental health resources, go to CBSLA.com. And a good reminder for all of us to yes. show that help is out there. And it's every true. now and then, we all need a little bit of it's help. True. So don't be afraid as to ask. As shown by Liza, you know what? You've got this.